Hi, this is Mike Seifert with Seifert Capital Partners in collaboration with New Michigan Realty. And today I am at our Berkeley, Michigan property. And we're about almost 100% completed. And here is the results of our project. The property does need to be clean. So we're going to be getting this house on the market within the next 24 hours. And here's our results. Uh, this is a custom fireplace that our carpenter had built. And overall, it's a pretty nice home. Our contractors, again, did an excellent job here. And this house pretty much has been rehabbed from bottom up. The hardwood floors have been fully restored. Again, that's just construction dust on the floor uh, because it does need to be cleaned. And this is our result. It's an open floor concept. We are missing one panel with the cabinetry and we're waiting for that to come in from the factory, which hopefully should be here within the next week. And again, this is a video by Seifert Capital Partners in collaboration with our other company, New Michigan Realty. And what our company does is we pull together money from investors in, in collaboration with our own money. And we purchase properties all over the state of Michigan. And we're going to be starting to do that in Florida as well. And so this video is just to show our potential investors or our current investors what we do on a daily basis and just the progress of each project as it becomes completed. And I hope this might be a little bit educational as well for people thinking about getting into the business of real estate, especially rehabbing property. Now, rehabbing homes is not as easy as People make it out to believe in some of these seminars out there. Um, there's three prongs to rehabbing real estate and finding, you know, well, the three prongs. Number one, you have to find the deals. Finding the deals is probably the hardest part of everything that we do. Uh, number two is financing. Of course, you have to have financing. Most people think the hardest part is getting the money. Uh, however, once you obtain the money for purchasing investment property, you have to find the deal. So it's always good to kind of line up the money and the deals in the, at the same time. However, the third prong of this real estate investing thing is actually being able to uh, get the construction done. And... If you find the deal and you have the money, the second part is you're going to need skills in construction management, which not everybody's great at, but it can be, you can learn it, it can be learned, and over time you get better and better. And so those are the three prongs of real estate investing when you're doing a rehab project. In addition to that, if you're going to buy and hold, you can, it's almost the same thing. You have to, you know, come up with the funds. And at the same time, you have to come up with, you have to find really good deals, especially if you're going to do the burr, which is buy, repair. Um, actually, I forgot what burr stands for, but it's, you know, you buy the house, you fix it up, and then you pretty much, uh, oh, refinance is the other R in there, which I do already. And then you rent it. So that's the bird method, actually. B R R R, buy, repair, refinance, and then rent the property out to a good tenant. And that's a whole other video on finding good tenants. But obviously, this is the upstairs. 
And so real estate investing is more than just, hey, I'm going to find a deal, buy it, fix it up, and resell it for a profit. It's not that simple. In theory, it's simple. But the reality is pretty much you have to have all three, the financing lined up, the contractors, then you have to have some type of marketing to find off-market deals. If you're looking for deals on the MLS, I can tell you right now that you can find some deals, but the real money is made on off-market deals um, You know, from distressed homeowners that perhaps have inherited a house that's a wreck in a good neighborhood. Kind of like this one in Berkeley here. Um, it was an older lady, and the property was, you know, piled with trash up to the ceiling. And uh, it was really time for them to sell, and we came along, and they said, hey, let's, let's get rid of the house and sell it, and we bought it, because it was that time. And so that's what we do with a lot of properties. We find these deals from distressed homeowners, and we simply make them an offer. I mean, some people think that real estate wholesalers and real estate investors uh, you know, try to take advantage of desperate homeowners, and that's not the case. Some, one homeowner had told us that we're, this was actually a blessing that they found us because the one property that we bought was so trashed inside it would be impossible for them to list it on the MLS or list it, period, or sell it on the retail market. And it was a mother, that, or an older lady, again, that her kids really didn't visit her and really did not help her out much, and they needed the extra money, yet they would never be able to sell it to a regular retail buyer. They would have to sell it to an investor like myself because I'm the only type of person that would touch a house in that bad of condition. We're talking to the point where it was just the whole house needed to be rehabilitated, which we did. Now this house, um, again, this situation was about the same. And so again, we purchased this home, tore out the whole house, just tore everything out. Some of the walls were already down. Some of the things were already done for us in this house, but um, again, we just made it an open concept. And, uh, you know, rolled with it. So, well, I hope this video was a little bit educational for somebody, again, starting to think about getting into real estate. If you have any comments or concerns, feel free to leave one below. And I'll be happy to answer questions. I've been in the business almost 20 years. So, it's not something that I've just started doing. I'm also a real estate broker. And... I'm in the business full time and I also own a mortgage company. So you're talking to somebody and watching a video uh, with somebody that's been in real estate for many years and I have a lot of knowledge I can share with you. So if you have questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to address them. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching this video. And again, just to mention, this is Seifert Capital Partners in collaboration with New Michigan Realty, and uh, we're going to post our results as soon as we get everything sold. But in the meantime, this is going on the market tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we'll get full asking price for it. If not, we'll keep it and we'll rent it out. So, well, thank you for your time. Have a great night. Take care.